Hello and welcome in this lesson. In this lesson we will learn 5G roaming architecture. Roaming, means that, the UE, travels from its home network, to another country or location, that is outside the coverage, of its home network. So, the UE, connects to its home network, from the visited network, it currently exists in. In this case, we will have, the visited PLMN, and, the home PLMN. The visited PLMN, is the PLMN, that the UE, currently exists in. While the home PLMN, is the home network, of the UE. There are two types of roaming architecture. Home routed, HR, roaming architecture. And local breakout, LBO, roaming architecture. In home routed, roaming architecture, the UE in the visited network, connects to the GNB, in the visited PLMN. Then, to the UPF, in the visited PLMN. Then, to the UPF, in the home PLMN. And finally, to the data network, in the home PLMN. To perform this, the control plane, in the visited network, will need to communicate with, the control plane, in the home network. In order to exchange, signaling messages. In addition, the user plane, or the UPF, in the visited network, will need to communicate with, the user plane, or the UPF, in the home network, in order to exchange, user plane data. While in local breakout, roaming architecture, the UE in the visited network, connects to the GNB, in the visited PLMN. And then, to the UPF, in the visited PLMN. And then finally, to the data network, that exists, in the visited PLMN. To perform this, the control plane, in the visited network, will need to communicate with, the control plane, in the home network, in order to exchange, signaling messages. So we need a method, to connect between the control plane in the visited network, and the control plane in the home network, which will be used, in both, home routed roaming architecture, and local breakout roaming architecture. And we need a method, to connect between the user plane in the visited network, and the user plane, in the home network, which will be used, in home routed, roaming architecture. So, in order to connect, between the control plane, in the visited network, and the control plane, in the home network, we use a node, named, SEPP, which is installed, at the edge, of the visited network, and at the edge, of the home network. While in order to connect, between the user plane, in the visited network, and the user plane, in the home network, we use a mechanism, named, IPUPS mechanism. This mechanism is used, by the UPF, in the visited network, and, the UPF, in the home network. So first, let's take a look, on the SEPP. SEPP refers to, Security Edge Protection Proxy. It ensures secure communication, between different mobile network operators, during roaming. The visited SEPP, is installed, at the edge, of the visited network. And the home SEPP, is installed, at the edge of the home network. The interface, between the visited SEPP, and the home SEPP, is named, N32 interface. N32 interface, uses a protocol named, Prince Protocol, in its application layer. Which refers to, protocol for N32 interconnect security. This protocol, performs encryption, and integrity protection, for the control plane messages, exchanged, between different, SEPPs. Now, let's take a look, on IPUPS mechanism, that is used in user plane connection, between the visited network, and the home network. IPUPS, refers to, inter PLMN user plane security. And it protects, the user plane data, exchanged between the visited network, and the home network. As it performs encryption, and integrity protection, for the user plane data, exchanged between the visited network UPF, and the home network UPF. The interface between the visited UPF, and the home UPF, is named, N9, interface. And it uses, the GTPU protocol. And when the UPF in the visited network, and the UPF in the home network, exchange user plane data, they use, IPUPS mechanism, in order to secure, the user plane data, exchanged between them. In summary, 
There are two roaming architecture types. Home routed roaming architecture, in which the UE in the visited network, connects to the data network, that exists in the home network of the UE. And local breakout, roaming architecture, in which the UE in the visited network, connects to the data network, that exists, in the visited network. And the SCPP, is used at the edge of the visited network, and at the edge of the home network, in order to securely exchange the signaling messages, between the control plane in the visited network, and the control plane, in the home network. And the interface between the visited SCPP, and the home SCPP, is named, N32 interface. And the IPUPS mechanism, is used by the UPF in the visited network, and the UPF in the home network, in order to securely exchange, the user plane data, between the visited network UPF, and the home network UPF. Thank you and see you, in the next lesson.